It's all entirely routine, until it's not. A US Marine expeditionary force at the ready, while world leaders wrestle with the tangled question, what to do about Iran. At the center of events, the USS Boxer, on its way to the already tense Straits of Hormuz. When it arrived in the Straits, the US president revealing that the Boxer shot down an Iranian drone. The Boxer took defensive action against an Iranian drone which had closed into a very, very near distance, approximately 1,000 yards, ignoring multiple calls to stand down and was threatening the safety of the ship and the ship's crew. The drone was immediately destroyed. The U.S. has blamed Iran for alleged mine attacks on six oil tankers in this region this year. Iran denies responsibility, but is furious at the U.S. withdrawal from a deal to lift sanctions in return for suspending its nuclear program. In June, President Trump called off airstrikes in retaliation for the downing of a drone by Iran over the Straits of Hormuz. The USS Boxer is technically an amphibious assault ship. What that really means is that it's an aircraft carrier packed with US Marines, a means by which the United States can project real muscle, real power, sending an unmistakable signal in this region right now. And a routine transit to protect shipping lanes through the straits that brings a ship this size, carrying 1,500 Marines, within the sight of Iran's coast will inevitably be seen as provocative in Tehran. But Iran flying a drone so close was escalation and risked catastrophe had blood been shed. When these sorts of operations are going on, I mean, there is a potential for a strategic effect from a small error. That's absolutely accurate. And all of the training that we do, all of the uh, education that we do is, is uh, the express purpose of getting after that. Iran's leaders say they want to keep the nuclear deal alive and the US to end trade sanctions that are crippling its economy. They see the US presence here as potentially explosive. The United States is intervening in order to make these waters insecure for Iran. You cannot make these waters insecure for one country and secure for others. You cannot uh, simply disregard a possibility of a disaster. But we all need to work in order to avoid one. The Boxer's flotilla got through the straits without further drama. Its air squadron keeping watch overhead. Its nickname coincidentally revealing how Iran and the US now see each other through evil eyes. Sam Kiley, CNN on the USS Boxer.